Hello everybody, I hope you're all well, um, especially as we're living in some crazy times at the moment what with the Covid situation. Uh, it's been a while, um, I've been, I've had my own stuff going on uh, with this, this pandemic. Um, I've been on furlough and I'm now looking for a new job at the end of the furlough scheme so that's fun. Um, my mother was taken into hospital. Um, I've not been well, so there's been a lot going on. Um, but now I'm back. Anyway, some of you have asked, where am I? So it's nice to be missed. Um, this is going to be a QA and a video answering, trying to answer some of your questions that you've sent to me, email on YouTube. And firstly, Pete, you asked, when am I going to make when am I going to make my um, tinnitus friendly home uh, video? The video I'm going to make about what I've done with my home to make it uh, a more therapeutic environment and tinnitus friendly, etc., to make it more relaxing and therapeutic. Um, I'm going to do that one evening um, because it would be better to film that at night um, to show the natural. I've installed natural lighting in the way of candles as opposed to electric lighting. Um, I have indoor water features, fountains, that kind of thing. Um, other things as well. But I'll probably be doing, well I will be, I'll be putting that video up after this one. Um, so you, that I will be doing that. Okay, next question that I had sent to me. Max Biner from Max Biner. Hi Aid. I must get a new chair because I know this is quite irritating, isn't it? This squeaky chair, so I'll, I'll have to think I'll have to invest in a new chair. Um, hi Aid, long time no see or hear from you. I'm doing okay, but I'm still on antidepressants. I'd like to ask you are you currently on any medication for your tinnitus? And if not for tinnitus, if not for tinnitus, any other, any other medication? Uh, ah, my big question, my other big question for you is have you reached silence yet after your long break away? How did you do it? Is your journey to recovery over? Okay, Max. That's a big question. Right, uh, I've actually been back from my break for a while now, Max. Um, am I on any medication? No, I'm not on any medication. Um, what did you want to know? Right, okay. Medication that affects your tinnitus, right. I have spoken about medications, um, and I've been, I have been on many. Uh, the only one that, that I would say, let's say it was useful in any way, was when I couldn't get any sleep whatsoever, uh, when I was first struck with tinnitus, I was put on nitrazepam. Um, now this did work, and it worked very, very well, in that it helped me sleep. But, and it is a big but, this uh, nitrazepam, this is a benzodiazepine. And if used for any significant amount of time, it can actually make your tinnitus worse. I wasn't actually aware of that at the time that I was prescribed it. This was back when I was first struck with tinnitus, so I wasn't actually aware of that. Um, but that's quite that's quite dangerous in a way because it does work. So it does send you to sleep, so you get a night's sleep. But uh, it can actually make your tinnitus work worse in the long run. So although it worked in that it allowed me to sleep, I would only ever um, say to anybody, only ever consider this if you're at a level 10 or worse and you literally can't stand another sleepless night. But it, this is a short term relief. Okay, so if you are absolutely, you know, you just cannot stand another sleepless night and you need sleep, then yes, maybe try it, but only for a very short period of time. Um, the other medication I was put on although it seemed to work for me, I've spoken about this before, uh, was gabapentin. But this actually had some serious side effects 
um, I don't, you can't have watched my other videos, Max, because I've spoken about this. Um, it had some serious side effects, including my eyesight. It's never been the same. Um, so I would steer well clear of that if you're ever, you know, if your doctor ever suggests prescribing that to you. Uh, as for antidepressants uh, like amitriptyline, uh, yes, I was put on those. They never helped with anything uh, for me personally, anyway. So if possible, I would steer clear of medications. Uh, your big question, and this is going to be quite a detailed answer. Have I reached silence yet? Okay, yes. Um, I don't hear my tinnitus during the day, and I'm going to get into how I got there or how I'm here. Um, but I'm not cured. Now, if that sentence sounds at odds with itself, let me um, let me explain what I mean by that. I've now reached um, a point in my recovery where I don't hear my tinnitus during the day. It's not there, uh, so silence reached. Which even to me is incredible, considering where I was only four to five years ago, at level ten, ready to jump off the cliff. However, um, I can't say I'm cured. Why? Because sometimes in a silent room at night, um, particularly at night, uh, I can hear it at night in a silent room, albeit at a low level. And also if I get um, highly, uh, if stress comes into my life, it, it, can, it can go up. But during the day, I don't hear it anymore. Um, now, why is it that I'm not hearing it uh, and it is like I was pre tinnitus and yet I can still detect it sometimes? I mean, what's going on? Uh, my thoughts on this, Max, and it's me I'm talking about, uh, and I know what I'm going to say is true because it's me I'm talking about, and I'm the only one who can say with any definitive truth uh, what's going on with me. Um, because what I'm about to say, will be seen as quite controversial by others in the tinnitus community. Um, I don't care, this is, these are my thoughts. And this is my take on how I've got to where I am, not here in my tinnitus. So this is the deal, okay, this is the deal. The two biggest factors for me, the second factor being the most important to get out there, of how I got back to having silence returned to me. I've done it. Um, how do I know this? Um, because I'm not hearing it. So, the first factor, and this is where the controversy uh, and controversial views lie with a lot of people. So, factor one, I have um, retrained my mind to react to my tinnitus in a different way. I've done it. Um, I don't, how can I put it? Because now it's to the point where my mind removes the tinnitus from my conscious thought. I don't hear it, all right? I'm not hearing it. Some people would say this is a mind perception factor. I don't care what it's labeled as, as long as I'm having silence. Um, it's what I've managed to achieve, and it wasn't an overnight process by any means, it's taken time. If you want to know how I've managed to get into that state of mind, um, watch my other videos, or Julian's. So that's the first factor of how I've got to have silence back in my life again not hear my tinnitus. Now much more importantly, the second factor, factor two, um, I have reduced the actual tone itself. Regardless of how my brain perceives it, um, regardless of how my brain perceives it, from where it was a level 10 to a level two to one to zero. 
Now I know this is the case because even when my tinnitus is within my conscious thought, like I said earlier, if I'm in a silent room at night, um, I can still hear a tone. It's still there. Uh, but it's only at level one or two. Now the difference between my level one or two and my level 10 where I was is fucking massive, okay? So this isn't my brain perceiving a level 10 tinnitus tone as a level one. The, dif the difference between the two is far too vast for it just to be the mind's perception of it alone, okay? So it's too vast for that to be the case. Now, now the tinnitus itself has actually reduced to that lower level of volume and intensity. Uh, now this actual reduction, the actual reduction itself, coupled with the first factor I spoke about, my perception of the tinnitus tone, um, the brain's reaction and perception of it, of this now level one or two, is why I believe I don't hear my tinnitus anymore. Um, and this has been achieved by all the methods I've spoken about um, in my videos. You can take the first part of the factor one that I spoke about, the mind's perception and reaction and retraining the brain, call it whatever you want to call it, okay? Um, that's all along the, the, the kind of lines that Julian Cohen Hill speaks about, okay? So that's where that is. But also, also, more tangible factors in actually reducing the tone itself within my brain, actually reducing the tone, not perception of it, reducing it. And that I did th through more tangible factors like getting better sleep, training, exercise, improving my diet, uh, eat, eating a lot of protein, cutting out carbs, um, cutting out coffee, and moderate fasting and I've spoken about all of these factors in my other videos and um, there are other um, people who have a, uh, like um, Liam Bowen he's very big on diet um, he's um, that's his whole thing is diet um, and then you've got Julian at the other end of the scale so these two approaches I coupled together these two approaches coupled together over time and not without a lot of effort uh, have got me where I am. So I hope the message is, and it's getting out there, that it is possible, and I'll use Julian's term, it is possible to let go of your tinnitus to the point where you're not hearing, you're not hearing it. It is possible. Um, is my road to recovery over? Well, the fact that I say I'm not completely cured would suggest no, uh, and it's not. I'm still on what I hope will be uh, a complete and total recovery where it never comes back and I never hear it, even in a silent room at night. Um, but this is quite important, what I'm gonna say now. I feel this is important. Because I think this is, this is where a lot of people get stuck or don't make any um, significant progress. So having said all that, um, I'm not, per I, I'm not, I'm no longer in the frame of mind where I'm striving or intensively longing, desperately seeking to find a complete total cure anymore that's not where I am that's just I'm just talking about myself okay talking about myself um, but uh, that's that's not where that's not where I am um, I found I have found that part of the problem um, in people not making any real progress is you want to be cured you want to be cured you want it now you want to be cured and unfortunately there is no quick, fast, immediate way of getting tinnitus to leave you. Um, there's certainly nothing you can go and take as a cure. But it is possible, it is possible, because I've done it, um, to have silence return to you. So, yes, 
I have silence back in my life, but my journey isn't over. But I'm no longer striving desperately to get to the end of it, to get to the end of my path to recovery. I'm no longer striving, trying to desperately get there. Um, so thanks for asking, Max. I hope my answer gives you some positive hope that you can get there. Um, and please let me know how, how you do. Okay, so I hope that, that that's a big question and I hope I've answered it um, sufficiently for you. Um, right, next question came from Grom's World. Hi Aid. You said in one of your videos that by treating tinnitus you managed to ride your IBS. I guess you mean get rid of. Um, I have IBS and nothing has ever managed to get it better for long periods of time. How can something happen in your head like tinnitus cure IBS? Okay, uh, Grom's World. I'm not claiming I'm not claiming that treating tinnitus is a cure for IBS. What I am saying is, like yourself, I suffered with IBS for years, uh, all kinds of stomach and intestinal issues. And it's absolutely the case that when I really started to make progress um, with reducing my tinnitus, and reducing stress, anxiety, changing my um, reactions to the world. Uh, the diet, of course, comes into it, but I had a pretty healthy diet before that. Um, and having a whole new mindset and reducing my tinnitus. That's when I noticed my IBS problems also reduced greatly as well, because the mind and the gut are connected any doctor or anyone in the medical world will tell you this if you're having a lot of intestinal stomach issues um, and yet there's nothing physically wrong with you then you're more than likely suffering from anxiety stress um, or any other number of negative emotions your gut is a good indicator of this um, your gut and your mind and vice versa um, so if you're suffering with IBS what, I'm, what I've said is, if you start treating your mind for your tinnitus, I think you will find, and you're calming everything down, I think you will find your IBS will improve as well. I hope it does. So I hope that answers your question. Right. And I had a question from Deadpool. Deadpool. Aid, I've been listening to the audio files you sent me, and they have really helped me to calm it all down. If I use them every day, for long enough, will my tinnitus go completely? Okay, Deadpool, in short, no. Um, the audio files are great. They are great to calm, uh, calm you down and get you into a meditative state that will help you. Um, and they will, and they, well they can, I'll say they can, reduce your level of tinnitus as an immediate relief. Uh, that's why I advocate them. Uh, but they are not going to be a cure and they shouldn't be thought of as such um, because if that's all we need if that's all we needed uh, and they worked in that way it would be job done and that's simply not the case um, I would say my advice my advice to you um, is I'd say continue to use them if you find them helpful if they reduce your tinnitus within a month they've done what I would expect um, but they've done what I would expect them to do within that time but if after another two or three months there's no further improvement, um, you could stop using them. Um, they're an in, what they are is they're an initial help to get you to a place where you can start to make further progress. That's what they really are. Um, I don't use them anymore because I don't need to, as I've you know, illustrated in my answers about have I reached silence, etc. But they are they are good initial uh, relief, so that that's really um, what their what their purpose is. Okay, Deadpool, and back to Pete. Pete, 
Dear Aid. We have been in touch for a long time and you have always been the person I resignate, I resignate, resignate, resignate with. Um, more than anything, you advised me against using gabapentin, even though my doctor was telling me to use it. Yeah, I remember we went through all that. I'm so glad I did not go down that way of dosing with that drug. Please can you tell me, do you think I should visit the tinnitus clinic in Harley Street. I think you've asked me this already, Pete, haven't you? Um, I watched your video, that was a while ago, and I think I'd like to go. Maybe it wasn't you, Pete, maybe it was somebody else. Um, but it's very expensive. Do you think they could do anything for me, Pete? And when's your video about your home improvements, etc.? Right, I've answered that already. Um, the tinnitus clinic, could they help you? Yes, they could help you. Um, but as I said, my answer is really the same as what I've said in my video regarding the tinnitus clinic. My take from visited the, visiting the tinnitus clinic is they, they are not looking to, um, they will not say to you, we can cure you. They will not say to you, we are um, looking to treat you and cure you. I don't think that's where they they are. Where they are is what I what I got from my visit was, um, they are looking to get you, uh, if you're suffering badly, they are looking to help you with some real, real um, tangible relief from your tinnitus to reduce it. And I think they can do that. Uh, with their devices that they use. I think they can do that. I'm, I think their devices work in that way. They can reduce the intensity and the volume of your tinnitus. Um, but they're trying to get you, I think, to a place... What they actually said to me was, um, we don't think that our treatments would be advisable for you because we wouldn't be able to get you to a better place than you already are. Um, was where they were with um, my consultation um, which was honest of them so that that's good in a way because that says to me they're not just looking to take your money okay they could have said to me yeah we really feel we can help you use our device um, you know and your tinnitus will greatly reduce further um, and they didn't do that they told me that they couldn't get me to a better place than I already am um, so, really, they'll be looking to get you um, relief and reduce your tinnitus so you can start making real progress further on from that. It is expensive, yeah. Uh, their devices are very expensive. Um, you're talking thousands of pounds. It depends, I suppose, on how much distress you're in um, from what you've told me Pete when we've been in contact with each other uh, I think you're you seem to be making some steady progress um, but it's really it's really up to you um, if you do go and try out the devices let me know I'm sure we've spoken about this before um, so yeah uh, it's it's really up to you Pete I'm sure they, they can well I, they can they can help people uh, but then they're, they're not looking to cure you so don't expect to be cured by going there all right i'm sure you're ready to know that okay so i think that's it it's only a short video um my next video i will make the one about it'll be a, it'll be a quick video um it's just going to be me showing you guys what i've done uh with my with my home to make it more a therapeutic tinnitus um friendly environment and a calming environment uh, and I'll film that at night because that's when everything comes into play. All right, so that's it, everybody. Uh, best wishes to you all. And I'll see you again soon in my next video where maybe I've got a new job. All right, bye-bye, everybody. Bye-bye.